Hello, my fellow Americans. I must say I find journalism cheap today. What I mean is there is no effort to really dig deep intellectually down to the bottom of the barrel, so to speak. There are numerous journalists who speak braggadocio about authoring or co-authoring some history books. These books, in my estimation, offer nothing but a rehash of history and historical personalities. I see it as a form of quick study for quick money. Cheap journalism to impress. America is in need of fresh ideas, fresh journalists, smart-minded men, criticizers and cynics who can generate thought and inspire others to seek beyond our current level of boring pablum. The mindset today is too simplistic. Opinions are a dime novel and a candy vending machine with no change. Thought is dead and controlled words to receive a reaction is the senseless work of journalism today. The one, two, three, four march is society's numb response in our time. The root of America's lethargy is its denial of thinking men with grand ideas. I criticize journalism because journalists today act as if they are contributing, when in reality their work offers nothing new to the minds of men, nothing fascinating, nothing profound. Is it any wonder the nation is reeling as it has been given a massive blow to the head? For America is dizzy with the same old worded essays and the constant oversell we are listening to educated men. When indeed their education does not shine forth, but the quest for top-notch notoriety at the expense of the American public does. Bottom line is journalism inhibits America, oppresses reform, despises change. Journalism pretends to be the watering trough of America when it is leaving America high and dry, thirsty for great thinking. Journalism will continue to be meaningless until new voices emerge with charisma, power, wit, candor, and awe. Journalists used to be great defenders. Today their moderation is a criticism with lies, deceits, and misgivings. Today their moderation is no longer keeps them as keepers of the faith, and they have become now the devil's advocate. They have no long-term defense of correct reporting which can save a nation. What we have today is self-centered biased activity. Simple work which generates shock and awe, leaving the public with dissatisfaction and distrust. A form of propaganda that poisons a country. When immoral men rule, journalism suffers and eventual state powers interfere. Thus we see today as the news has an agenda proposed by higher powers. In a sense, a controlled people through journalism. Power controlling information. Such powers only report what they want the American citizen to believe or hear. Exercising denial upon the general public, subtle but ever present. Keeping truth tellers locked up through the monopoly of their power. Media, social media, and internet information have new powers. As we have seen in the Middle East and in other parts of the world, these powers have toppled governments and influenced outcomes through media organizers. Unless this newfound power is harnessed with standards and ideals, which translates to respect of man's character and well-being, these unforeseen powers will escalate and use media journalism to control a nation or even the world in the future. In my estimation, remedies can be found, but men of this generation are not profound enough. The assassinated leaders of the past sought a newer world. Their wisdom went with them to the grave. Their ideals and work are available through history, but not a soul in America wants to pick up the mantle. The mind of men today are preoccupied with the never-ending circle of sub-intellectualism, a poverty of the spirit, not a love of solutions and brilliance, but a settlement of what has become routine. 
such our dilemma and demise. Unless the character of journalists change, America will continue to suffer at the hands of those who want to control and eliminate intellectual wit. The prophecy, no righteous man will be found upon the earth, just may happen in our lifetime. America can become one continuous social disorder controlled by the state. Journalism is the last bastion of truth, and intellectualism challenging the proponents of Orwellian philosophy. You control journalism, you control influence on what you want others to think. We have witnessed throughout history how truthful words can be excommunicated once journalism loses its virtue. It is then when the state decides, not the freedom of the press, what men should listen to and read. America beware. This is a powerful subject every citizen should consider, stand for, or protest. For the future will feed from it, live by it, or die from it. Robert Kennedy said, I feel I am obliged to do all I can. Who was one of the last voices of concern with far-reaching insight. It is disheartening men of this caliber are seemingly no longer with us, and that journalism has killed the poetic mysticism of a country. I leave you with this poem by Robert Frost. He says, The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep, and miles ago before I sleep, and miles ago before I sleep. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.